In today's adventure, what we're going to be doing is deleting records from a table by using a stored procedure. So let's look at that real quick, first of all. Let's take a look at our stored procedure. It's, it's not that major of a stored procedure, but we're going to go to Databases, and then my Acme Database, Programmability, and then finally Stored Procedures, and there it is, the one that says Delete from Customer Types. It's made for that specific table. I'm going to open this up and modify it just to show you real quick. And you see, this stored procedure has really nothing to it. Always, by the way, always comment what you're doing, your name, the date, a little record of what you're doing, just in case the next person looking at this just doesn't get it. All we're doing is passing in a CT key. That's the key field to the customer type table. So this stored procedure specifically is only going to get rid of one record at a time. And really, this is the only thing that it's doing. Delete from customer types where the key is equal to the key value that we pass in. A very simple stored procedure. It's a lot more simple than inserting a whole record or updating a record. It's very simple. So what we're going to do, first of all, let's just do a select. I'm going to highlight just that line so when I hit the exclamation point for execute, that's the only line. It'll, it'll ignore these other ones. But here we go. Okay, so uh, let me click off of that. In the table right now, we have four records, okay? Now, I want to get rid of this one called Evil Villain because, well, it's an evil villain. Um, you know, Lex Luthor, Green Goblin, whoever you want, Richard Nixon, it doesn't matter. It's just it has to go. But the way that this works, it's based on this field, the CT key. Well, we'll just say that, you know, because I'm really smart, I know that this, this record has a CT key of 81. So all I do when I run this is I say delete from customer types because that's the name of the stored procedure, but then I have to pass in this key value, so I put it right after that. Now, let me just mention that this will crash the way I'm doing this. See, it didn't like that. And the reason why is that if, if the only line that you're executing in the entire window is a stored procedure, then you can go ahead and do it. But if the stored procedure gets executed after anything else gets executed, then you have to put the exec command in front of it. It's just something that you need to know. So there we go, we run that. And when we do, <coughs> you see when we did our first select, it has all four records. But then after we do our delete, and we got rid of record number 81, this guy, Evil Villain, he went the way of the uh, dodo bird. He's no longer with us. He, he's no longer on the show. Jack Bauer must have got a hold of him. So basically, that's how you do it. A very simple stored procedure. You pass in the key value, and then it just blows it away from the table, and everybody lives happily ever after. Really?